Hello, how are you? My name's Sean, and this channel is On The Road. This week, I visit Cove, in the county of Cork. I did plan on spending time in Cork, but things didn't quite work out how I wanted. I'll tell you why later. Parked up at Five Footway Motorhome and Campervan Park, right down on Cove Harbour, right near where the cruise ships would dock. My first instinct was to jump on a train from Cove to Cork, see what Cork had to offer. It was quite an interesting journey in. Just gotta love the attitude. I um, I couldn't pay for my ticket at Cove to get to Cork. It wouldn't accept my notes, and the other machine was broken. So during the journey, I wondered what would be the outcome. Would they say, "Oh, penalty fare," or you just pay for your return when you get to the barrier? He just said, "Hey, I'll let you out. You can pay later." I'm back in Cork railway station. I'm just outside. Had a couple of hours in Cork. Probably not even that. Bit of culture shock to be honest. I'm not used to the big city. Traffic jams everywhere. Lots and lots of people. But um I've had such a quiet couple of weeks that Cork is really what I'm after to be honest. And uh, I'm sure I'll find some good nightlife in small bars and small villages and towns on the route. So I'm going back to Cove now back to the camper van. Maybe do a walk around that area. I bought myself a ticket back to Cove and I'm glad I visited Cork. It's just a shame. I think it really would have been great had I been with other people. I kind of felt lost on my own. However, I had no idea what Cove had to offer and that was to be a great surprise. The island harbour line in front of me is a naval base and was home to the world's first yacht club in 1720. I walked along the harbour into Cove and was immediately impressed by St Coleman's Cathedral at 300 foot high and completed in 1919. After a quick look, I decided I'd spend tomorrow looking round Cove. The Titanic left here 110 years ago. Not the greatest pictures, just wrong timing. Uh, morning time and uh, I haven't got a shower in the van, so I have a head to toe full wash with a bucket of hot soapy water inside the van. And not the greatest of subjects, but there are worse ones. When you don't have a shower in a camper van, boil a kettle up, shower gel to make the soap, and then a good flannel, and you just really scrub yourself all, all over. You know, it's a compromise. It's not for everybody. If it's not your thing, though, stay in hotels, spend more money. So it works, unfortunately. What an absolute beautiful day. I'm even in a t-shirt today. Just a t-shirt, it's so nice. There are 30 spaces here, at 10 euros a night. Maximum stay two nights. So there's a recycling center is here. There's a toilet which is handy as my van doesn't have one. Currently unoperational ticket machines. Loads of rules up there. Currently the 9th of April 2022. And there's all the main signage. 
and this is the walkway that goes all the way along into Cove and often there's cruise ships docked along here I think the season starts next weekend, Easter weekend Despite this car park being free parking and so many free parking spaces around Cove In the no parking zones as you see down there behind the motorhomes is a line of cars just inconsiderate because some of those seven eight meter motor homes will struggle to reverse out of their spaces i'm not going into cork today but i am going to spend a good hour or two now walking around cove and then i shall return to the van get myself some lunch and then go out again exploring Sullivan. Mind you, in rough seas, I imagine being at the top there wobbling around. Annie Moore and her two younger brothers embarked in Cove, then known as Queenstown, in 1891 and were the first processed in Ellis Island, New York. The next day, the weather had taken a complete change. Despite this, I still walked around Cove again, and over the two days, walked about 20 miles. I really enjoyed my time in Cove. However, it was now time to move on. The Wild Atlantic Way was only a few miles down the road, and I was eager to get started. I am on a budget, so I've just been shopping in Tesco's. Um, always check the discounted sections picked up some cheap stuff and some natural yogurts and various things quite happy with my little shop at this Tesco there is no revolution laundrette so I've just located one on Google Maps and hopefully it's still there that's where I'm gonna head to next luckily there were two banks of machines at this petrol station because the washing machine works and I think there's pretty good value five euros for 39 minutes at 40 degrees including the detergent but the dryer wasn't working luckily in the other bank next door the dryer worked and my card was declined and it still clicked the machine to working bit of a bonus my initial thoughts of staying in Cove today because the weather was so shit I'm glad I changed because it's actually okay now 
This is a free car park in Kinsale and it's on part for night. But Kinsale is the start of the Wild Atlantic Way. So I'm going to go and have a walk around and see what there is. So I'm at the official start of the Wild Atlantic Way. But come on, am I missing something? Give us a decent start or finish point. Or at least a decent photo opportunity. Now this was the kind of painted houses I was expecting everywhere in Kinsale. I bought my mum a jigsaw puzzle of Kinsale a couple of years ago and the houses along the front here were far more colourful and interesting. Having spent a lot of my life in Dover, I'm very familiar with this type of fort. Should go for a walk there soon. I found a street map with a decent walking route out to the fort. So I decided to make my way back to the van, have some lunch and then set off on a little bit of a walk. Now the weather's not great today but it's much better than I was expecting and that's probably because in the haven of a massive harbour again. There's a loop walk along to Charles Fort which is in ruins but looks very typical of the Napoleonic forts in my hometown area. It looked interesting, but I'm on a budget and I've seen enough castles and forts like this before. And so with an entrance fee, I didn't enter. My knees are hurting today. Done quite a lot of walking in the last week. At least a couple of 20,000 step days. Today will be another one. That's some very steep hills. This is a lovely walk. Around the outside of Kinsale Harbour. I walked for miles again today. Luckily, the very last hill was downwards. Such a quiet little car park. Found it on Park for Night. Some early reviews that were not too good, but um, top marks. It's quiet. Feels relatively safe. And. Um, Looks like a few mini buses or coaches park up here when not in use. And also down the end there was a motorhome and a camper van and a big van. You can see the van there in the middle. Not many cars because there's a car park slightly closer in the town. And also there's a suspension on parking meters at the moment so all the car parks in town appear to be free. In the next episode, I start on the Wild Atlantic Way and notice the first sign I see is upside down. I attempt to visit a signal tower that's too foggy to see and take a self-guided tour around an old stack of bricks and decide it's time for a cup of coffee and breakfast along a nice sandy beach. See you then. <laughs>